today's Korean restaurant is, let me introduce you to the Shabu Shabu Restaurant Koin, a place to taste a variety of fresh meat dipped in a unique soup stock with Korean flair. For tasty eateries, I visited Shinza Dong's Aguchin and Kanjang Gejang that have captured the taste of epicures and Nonjang Dong famous for its salted barbecue. The Food Paradise Cuisine Korea. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Yi. As the summer heat wave hits us with full of gusto, we tend to find ourselves more at ice cream parlors and at restaurants where they seem to serve cold dishes such as naengmyeon. However, from the old saying goes, fight fire with fire. As it gets hotter, eating hot food to fight off heat exhaustion is actually better for the health. So today, I'll be introducing a restaurant where you can enjoy both hot meat and soup, a place full of nutrition won't you please join me? This place is a renowned Korean restaurant famous for its tasty shabu shabu coin. You can find this place on your way to Kui Tunnel direction from Sekomjong Crossroads, Samyon University entrance. When you enter, the dimly lit interior with its dark brown tones gives off a calm feel. The shabu shabu's origin is that it was eaten by the Mongolians many years ago. The unique atmosphere is decorated with many unique Mongolian decorations. Sogogi, Nomlonigo, Odiago, Yangago, Shabu Shabu Habus, and the Kuyangago, Odinun, in Pulpa Songe, Ogdeso. 어 굉장히 그 성인의 좋은 음식이고 어 영양을 돕는데 참 좋은 음식이라고 생각이 되고요. From meat to seafood, it maximizes the Korean taste with generous ingredients. This is most distinct feature. A unique duck shabu shabu lightly cooked in a spicy soup with two kinds of soup stock. Green leaf wrapped rice and shabu shabu a wrapped rice roll with beef sirloin with green leaves. Cooking seafood in a soup stock and then dipping the meat in soy sauce makes this seafood shabu shabu. Slightly cooked beef flank eaten with sauce and vegetables is the top dish of this place. The nutritious noodles are prepared by boiling soup stock noodles with a variety of seafood. The savory porridge is prepared by boiling a variety of vegetables. Shabu shabu soup is a popular dish you should never rule out here. Variety of other dishes, raw meat salad, roasted meat and beef casserole and more are available. My goodness, there are so many different types of shabu shabus. Well, there's different types of broth and ingredients that go into it. But I've been told there's one particular item that you can't taste anywhere else. Wondering what we'll be making today? The dishes we're going to cook today are the unique tasting duck shabu shabu and fresh green leaf wrapped rice. Today's veteran chef, Yi Kyung Yeol, has 40 years of experience and cooks only with the freshest ingredients, ensuring the best taste. 어, 오늘 만들어 주실 요리는 어떤 거죠? 예. 저희 집에서 그 자랑스럽게 내놓을 수 있는 오리 샤브를 소개하고자 합니다. 아, 특히 그 자랑하고자 하는 그 샤브 육수가 있는데 두 가지가 나옵니다. 하나는 그 개운하게 드실 수 있는 그러한 육수고 또 하나는 얼큰하게 그 잡을 수 있는 그두 가지 육수를 오늘 소개하고자 합니다. The main ingredients are duck breast, bean sprouts, and an array of vegetables. For the soup stock's ingredients, prepare radish, dried kelp, and katsuobushi. First, cut the pre-washed onion in half and then into big chunks. Slice the pre-washed radish into thick rectangular shapes. Slice the green onion into long strips. 
Add the pre-cut onion, radish, green onion, dried kelp, dried anchovy, and katsuobushi to boiling water and season with soy sauce. The refreshing soup stock will be ready after it has boiled well for about 40 minutes, allowing the ingredients to cook. The second soup stock has red chili, creating a spicy, tasty soup. In the pre-made soup stock, add the well-dried red chili, chili seeds, and boil. Add chili spice to taste. When the soup stock has boiled considerably, scoop out a generous amount. After you add the chopped red chili, the spicy soup stock is ready. These are the unique soups you can only taste at this place. 흔히 샤브샤브 찍어 먹는 소스 외에 거인에서는 좀 특별한 소스가 있다고 들었거든요. 네. 어, 어떤 소스예요? 네, 그렇습니다. 그 저희 집에서는 그 간장 소스 외에 그꽤 소스라고 있습니다. 그 한국인들이 어, 그 취향에 맞도록 그 여러 가지를 함유해 가지고 아주 고소한 맛을 즐길 수 있는 그런 소스거든요. This is the savory sesame sauce, the pride of this place. First, in a mixing bowl, add lots of sesame and the millet jelly, natural spices, peanut butter, soy sauce, and mix well. The sesame sauce is ready. Just place this thick sauce on a plate and serve. Shabu Shabu is finished. Ingredients for the second dish are rice, green leaves, and a variety of spices. First, a variety of seasonings should be added to the cooked rice. Next, add a small amount of savory black sesame, seasoned salt, and sesame oil. Mix well by hand. Then, take out a small amount of rice and roll it into a small bite-sized rice ball. Now place the rice bowl on a well-cleaned green leaf and top with chopped masal and egg for garnish. When you serve the fresh sirloin with samjang, leaf wrapped rice and shabu shabu are ready. 이 오리 샤브 샤브를 아주 맛있게 먹을 수 있는 방법이 있나요? 네, 있습니다. 음, 제가 그 요리를 해 드릴 테니까 한번 드셔 보시죠. 네. 야채를 살짝 살짝 익혀가지고 In a boiling soup stock, add the crown daisy, mushrooms, and other various vegetables. 야채가 덮여지면 고기하고 곁들여서 드시면 되는 거거든요. 네. When the vegetables start to cook, add the meat to the stock piece by piece. Here, you will taste the nicely flavored meat that is slightly cooked. 야채하고 네. 고기가 지금 살짝 익었습니다. 네. 그러면은 야채하고 고기하고 잡수시면은 이거를 소스에 그 소스가 두 가지가 있는데 에, 깻 소스와 간장 소스 있거든요. 네. 취향대로 음, 찍어서 한번 잡숴 보시죠. 네. Okay, I'm gonna try the dish that uh, he just prepared for me. And I think um, he told me there are two different sauces. Um, I'll try this one first. Mmm. Very good. Now let me actually try the duck. Can you just see that steaming? This is the second sauce. Mmm. Has a very clean taste. And the meat, it has been cooked very nicely. Very good. Now I'm gonna try my second dish. This is how we're gonna start this one. Take the prepared rice and lettuce and dip the meat in this broth after it's well cooked. 
place it in this. A dish where you will experience the true taste of fresh meat is shabu shabu. One bite. Due to the generous amount and unique sauces, they have regulars coming from faraway places. This place is especially popular among those looking after their health. A splendid harmony of meat, stock, and vegetables. Experience the true taste of shabu shabu at Kohin. For those of you who are looking for a clean taste, there's nothing better than Shabu Shabu. I hope this summer you enjoy a healthy season satisfying your palate. Thanks for joining me and please continue to stay with us for Looks Great. Looks Great. Another hotel you cannot rule out for its splendid scenery in Korea is the Sofitel Ambassador Hotel. Namsan Mountain as its backdrop, located in Changchungdong. This is one of the business hotels favored by foreigners. Let us meet the restaurant recommended by Sofitel Ambassador Hotel and a variety of dishes. The Sofitel Ambassador Seoul is a five-star deluxe hotel located at the base of the Seoul Tower. Our feature restaurant, Cafe de Chef, is an excellent restaurant that combines the best of Korean cuisine as well as Western food. Our focus is on quality, and one of the showcase items in our restaurant is our grilled food. The fusion restaurant Café de Chef is a place to taste authentic Korean and a wide Western style menu. Here, you will find European dishes with a mixture of various sauces from barbecue ribs and chicken to diverse kinds of Asian cooking. What is different in Café de Chef is uh, the quality and the freshness of the, of the food ingredients. But also, we keep the tradition of uh, cooking some dishes by charcoal, real charcoal. And uh, the last point I think is very important in Café de Chef is the motivation of the staff who are cooking with a lot of passion and, and love. From a variety of dishes at Café de Chef, today's dishes that come highly recommended by the French chef are the lobster salad made by placing vegetables and boiled lobster over orange and grapefruit and served with a tender basil paste sauce. The savory tasting lentil bean soup is made by parching soaked lentil beans, onions and chicken breast and then boiling in a mild chicken stock made from the white meat of the chicken. The steak dish is grilled. The sauce ribs are served with a unique aromatic peppermint sauce along with other various fusion dishes. Come and meet the unique dishes from Sofitel Ambassador Hotel. Cuisine Korea. Hello everyone, I'm Gina Huang. It is now time to visit the tasty alleys of Seoul. And the alley that we're going to visit today is counted as one of the top five. And when we talk about this alley, we can never leave out Agochim and Kaichi Chorim. That's right, we're going to visit Shinsado. 
Also, we're going to visit Nonyondong's Salted Barbecue Street. I'm feeling hungry already. Now, why don't you come with me? During lunchtime, this place becomes crowded with people coming and going. This is the alley famous for Agujim, Gangnam's Shinsadong. Especially during the summer when the temperature rises and people tend to lose their appetite, this place becomes famous among the epicures. You can meet the Agujim Alley on your way toward Jamundong from Shinsa Station on subway line number 3. There are more than 30 places that show off the unique taste of Agujim and Kanjang Kejang. Everywhere you look, you will find Agujim restaurants everywhere. Agujim is supposed to be so spicy that it will make you cry. And Kaichijurim is known to be a rice robber. Mmm, my mouth is watering already. Then shall we go in? Follow me. Since Agujim originates from Gyeongsangnamdo's Masan, the restaurants have Masan in their names. Although rather ugly looking, angler is a fish with a wonderful taste. With the tearfully spicy agujim, the salty taste of mixing rice on the crab shell, people who have tasted it have commented as such. The number of ingredients that are added to the agujim vary from place to place. First, on a plate, add a moderate amount of starch powder, chopped garlic, salt, brown sugar, and then add lots of spicy chili powder. Brew the stock with sugar, dry kelp, and anchovies, and then mix well to make the sauce. Then pour the sauce over the boiled angler, middle dog, and bean sprouts. Now add sesame oil and crown daisies that removes the fishy smell and adds a refreshing aroma green onion, and large amounts of drop words, and parch well until all the vegetables are cooked. A mixture of tender angler meat and bean sprouts is complete. Another menu as popular as the spicy hot agujim is the hard-boiled hair tail. The prepared hair tail, chili sauce, green chili squash, and other vegetables go in. First, in a pot, add the soy sauce, salt, ginger, and a large sliced radish and potato. Then, place the prepared sliced hair tail from Jeju in a dish with lots of spicy chili sauce. Now, add the small thinly sliced squash, green chili, and a generous amount of onion and large spring onions that removes the fishy taste of the hair tail and bring to a fast boil until the sauce is absorbed well. So spicy and hot, the mouth-burning hot hard-boiled hair tail is complete. The meat is very tender, the sauce very spicy. Although agujim has a spicy taste, the crunchy bean sprouts and the bitter tasting mido dog and drop wort are also very tasty. As the angler is thicker than other fish and is more tender, it has a distinct character for tasting fresh. When you say shinsadong, there is another famous dish, the kanjang gejang. 간장게장이 참 맛있어 보이는데요. 저기 간장게장 먹는 방법이 따로 있나요? 네, 따로 있죠. 일단 첫째는 이거 이렇게 건져서 일단 껍질을 이렇게 따는 거죠. 이렇게 속살이 꽉 찼잖아요. 일단 이렇게 양쪽으로 갈라서 이렇게 이제 살이 삐져나오니까 안 나오게. 
They are very tasty looking, aren't they? Melts right in your mouth. Mmm, yummy. I hope you will make sure to eat some kanjang kejang when you come over to Shinsadong. Another tasty alley other than Shinsadong in Gangnam. The famous Nonyeondong is praised for its thick salted barbecue. On the way to Gangnam Dero from Shinsa Station, the backside of Lumiere Theater is the salted barbecue alley. The weather is hot, the night is long, and you cannot fall asleep. For those of you wondering if you can find anything that will satisfy your hunger on a cool summer night, then why don't you stop by Nonyondo, where you can taste barbecue pork sprinkled with thick salt. Doesn't it sound tasty? Then let's go in together. Among the numerous restaurants, I have visited the place that is known to have the best tasting salted barbecue. As soon as you enter, you will notice the savory meat smell. You can eat generous amounts of tasty meat at a cheap price, causing this place to be full even till dawn with young people to working people. The taste of well-wrapped baked samgyeopsal. Isn't your mouth watering? After heating the round iron plate in a large drum can, barbecue the thick pork neck part and mushrooms that enhance the taste of the pork and the onion. Do you hear the sizzling grilling sound? Continuously turn the meat as not to burn it, and when it is barbecued well and the oil has all soaked out, the only thing left to do is slice it into edible pieces. Now all the preparation for dining is complete. The meat is all cooked now and it's time for me to taste it. And here I go. You put the lettuce on your on your hand. Some leek. A little bit. And a little kiss. Mm. Does it look delicious? Here I go. Wrap the meat in lettuce, but don't forget to add the tasty leek and bean paste sauce. Doesn't it look delicious? The meat is very tender and it goes very well with the lettuce and the leek. Delicious. Mm. The best partner with salted barbecue is doenjang jjigae. After you have filled your stomach with meat, the spicy doenjang jjigae is seasoned with country-style bean paste, and a seasoned bean paste that will enhance the taste of the meat is also a special dish at this place. Pour a moderate amount of water in a dukbegi and then dissolve the authentic country-style bean paste. Here, if you add the boiled prepared cabbage leaves and chopped green chilies will enhance the spicy taste. Add some chopped garlic and pepper powder and boil. The savory and refreshing doenjang jjigae is complete. <laughs> When you come to Nonyeondong, make sure to stop by the Salted Barbecue Alley. Gangnam-gu is known as a bustling street in Shinsadong and Nonyeondong. Due to a variety of cultural spaces and eateries, there is always a continuous flow of people around here. The tasty alleys really make you want to come by often. Splendid, Shinsadong and Nonyeondong are both well known for their tasty eateries. So if you're looking for a place that will boost your appetite, why don't you come over here and enjoy a nice meal? Cuisine Korea, this is all for today and I hope to see you again next time.